Greetings to all. Now, I would like to talk to you about dry cough. A dry cough is a type of cough that does not produce any mucus or phlegm and it can be quite uncomfortable and irritating. We will see detailed overview of what a dry cough is, its causes and potential treatments. Firstly, let us understand what a dry cough is. A dry cough is a type of cough that is not accompanied by any phlegm or mucus and it is caused by irritation in the throat or airways. The cough is usually triggered by a tickle or an itch in the throat which causes the person to cough to relieve the irritation. So, what are the causes of a dry cough? There are several causes of a dry cough. One of the most common causes is viral infections such as a common cold or flu. These infections irritate the airways and cause inflammation leading to a dry cough. In some cases, a dry cough can also be caused by allergies where the allergen triggers an immune response that causes the airways to become inflamed and irritated. Another common cause of a dry cough is environmental irritants such as air pollution, dust, and smoke. These irritants can cause inflammation and irritation of the airways leading to a dry cough. Certain medical conditions can also cause a dry cough. Asthma is a chronic lung condition that causes inflammation and narrowing of the airways leading to coughing and wheezing. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD is another lung condition that can cause a dry cough along with shortness of breath and other symptoms. In some cases, a dry cough in children and adults can be a side effect of medication, especially after taking antibiotics and anti-allergic medications. Now, we will see a detailed overview of the signs and symptoms of dry cough. The cough is usually dry, meaning that it does not produce any mucus or phlegm. The cough is usually persistent and can last for several days or even weeks. The cough may be accompanied by other symptoms, including sore throat, a dry cough can cause irritation and inflammation of the throat, leading to a sore throat. Fatigue, a persistent cough can be exhausting and cause fatigue, especially if it interrupts sleep. Shortness of breath, in some cases, a dry cough can be accompanied by shortness of breath, especially if it is caused by a more serious underlying condition such as asthma or COPD. Chest pain, a dry cough can cause chest pain, especially if it is persistent and causes the muscles in the chest to become sore. Hoarseness of voice, a dry cough can cause hoarseness or a change in the voice as the vocal cords can become irritated. Now we will see few home management for dry cough. Stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of fluids such as water, herbal tea or warm broth can help keep your throat hydrated and ease the irritation that causes a dry cough. Use a humidifier. A humidifier can add moisture to the air and help ease the dryness and irritation that causes a dry cough. Avoid irritants. Avoiding irritants such as smoke, dust, and air pollution can help reduce the irritation that causes a dry cough. Rest. Getting plenty of rest can help your body fight off infections and heal from illness which can help reduce the duration and severity of a dry cough. Try steam inhalation. Breathing in steam from a hot shower or a ball of hot water can help ease congestion and reduce the irritation that causes a dry cough. Elevate your head. Elevating your head while sleeping can help reduce post-nasal drip and ease the irritation that causes a dry cough. What about the homeopathy treatment for dry cough? Homeopathy is a natural and holistic form of medicine that can provide relief from the symptoms of dry cough without any side effects. It is important to note that homeopathy medicines are chosen based on individual symptoms and an experienced homeopathy doctor should be consulted for the correct remedy and dosage. Thank you.